Hello, and we are back with Steve Karkinen. Hello. Good morning. Our <laughs> avalanche guy. So um, there's a class at REI tonight. Correct. We actually uh, get started with our training season this week in mm -hmm. earnest, and we have a lot of classes that we're doing throughout the winter this year. That's good. Okay, so then so, can you... Oh, yeah. Tell us what people can expect yeah. from these lectures. Well, um, we, d we do a number of one- to two-hour basic avalanche awareness lectures that give people the sense of the combination of factors, snow, weather, and terrain mm -hmm. that it takes to cause an avalanche. And we give people the, the tools and the skills they need to recognize that. And then also to help either avoid it, and if they do get into trouble, then how to react and how to perform a companion rescue, um, just mm -hmm. because that's really the only way uh, a person's going to survive if one of their friends gets buried in an avalanche. Yeah. So yeah. How, many, how many classes does the REI offer for this? Okay, we have one tonight, um, and that's going to be a basic uh, awareness course that goes for two hours. I think that course is filled up. And then next Monday, on the 8th, we have another class, which is a follow-up to that class. And again, that's about a two-hour program. Uh, they're free. Uh, REI asks that people call in advance. There's still room in that second class, as far as I know, so there shouldn't be any problem with getting in. And also, uh, coming up here shortly on the 3rd, we're offering a one-hour free basic avalanche awareness course at URA Lecture Hall. Um, that's about an hour-long course. And then again, the same thing on the 10th at the Dean Stone Hall. Wow. Um, and, and again, those are about 6.30 at night, 7 o'clock at night for one to two hours, just a very basic awareness session. Great. Um, where can people call you to sign up for it? The best thing uh, they can do is contact the University of Montana Outdoor Program uh, to sign up for the courses that are sponsored out there. But mo all of our basic level classes, we don't require early season registration. REI re requires that folks call out there in advance. But mm -hmm. for our one hour basic courses, just show up. They're, they're freebies and it's good information. So we're asking yeah. folks to come on out. We're also offering, um, Transceiver clinics through the University of Montana. We have a nice partnership with them and they do a lot of our ed education with us. And uh, those courses are, are beginning, starting um, here real quick on the 7th and then again on the 14th. And those do require pre registration. So contact University of Montana Outdoor Program. Okay. Great. Okay. And then, so what are you, what is your organization called? Uh, we're the West Central Montana Avalanche Center. Okay. Our, our, our support group is the West Central Montana Avalanche Foundation. It's a 501c3 nonprofit, which is our primary mechanism for uh, supporting us that gives us the chance to get out on the snowpack per, uh, to produce a two-day-a-week uh, avalanche advisory and all of this education that we're doing. So right, cool. it's, it's and, a good program. And speaking of education, like in the beginning course, what, um, what are the main topics you're going to be um, harping on? And followed by the next week's like is it like a beginner's course in avalanche, and then there's intermediate and yeah, there's a there is a course progression for avalanche classes in, in North America, and uh, we teach courses up through the level one, which is basically a three day course, twenty four hour course with two days out in the field on the snow. So um, and our more popular programs are the ones that are free, the real short basic awareness courses. And then toward the end of January, we have a two evening session with a full day out on the snowpack, which is our most popular course, and that's also free. And uh, people can check that out through going to mozillaavalanche.org for more information on all of our courses. Great. Cool. Okay, one yeah. question. Um, so what... Does, if you're looking for an avalanche or looking for terrain, what does a terrain look like that you should Well, well avalanche about? terrain is anything that's steep and open. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, steeper than 30 degrees, basically between 30 and 50 degrees. It needs to have um, the right kind of slope steepness. It has to be an open slope. It needs to have a weak layer of snow with a slab of denser, heavier snow on top of that weak layer. Mm -hmm. And then the most important thing is a trigger, and typically that's us. So those are the kinds of things that we're looking out for, and those are the things that we talk about in our basic awareness courses. And when is, when are avalanches most common? Like when are they most? Uh, whenever there's rate? snow on the ground, <laughs> whenever <laughs> there's enough snow to recreate on, there's the opportunity for avalanches okay. to happen. And the most dangerous time of year yeah, is right now I mean. because <laughs> the snowpack tends to be really weak, mm -hmm. sugary, and people want to get after it. It's the first part of the season. There's good snow in the high country right now, up close to 40 inches. Mm -hmm. It's a great time to get out, but it's also uh, early. December, early January can be very dangerous times because that snow tends to be very weak. And if it does release, you're going to go for a nasty, ugly ride down through the rocks and the brush and everything yeah. else. So um, what are the, some of the misconceptions people can get from avalanches? Because, you know, like a lot of times they're uneducated and um, 
they just think everything's going to be fine. What what should people know? Well, it's it's when you're traveling in the mountains um, anywhere. Um, where there's snow, chances are very good that you're going to be in the avalanche terrain at some point. It's almost unavoidable that we'll have to cross it to get to where we're going. So it's really important to get educated to get that understanding of what the terrain is like and what the conditions are that create avalanches. There are some really big clues that Mother Nature gives us that conditions could be sketchy, and usually it's for a couple of days. You know, whenever there's a heavy new snowfall, 10 inches or better generally, or an inch of snow water equivalent, um, high winds, because winds move a lot of snow. Um, rapid change in temperature, whenever you see uh, cracking or collapsing of the snowpack or the snow makes noises at you, that's basically Mother Nature telling you that it's really scary and you don't want to get on anything that's steep or underneath anything steep enough to slide. Okay. Right. So one more time for our audience, um, where can people find more information and um, when are your lectures? Okay, locally here the best way to get the information about what's going on in Missoula is to go to missoulaavalanche.org. If you're traveling elsewhere in the state or in North America, avalanche.org. Those are really good clearinghouses for weather and snowpack information. And then locally here, um, we also post all of our course information on missoulaavalanche.org on our education page. And uh, like I say, we start our free courses this week and we carry on through basically the middle part of February. Awesome. Cool. That's great. great. Yeah, well, thanks yeah. for joining great. us. Yeah, thanks yeah. for the um, invitation. Is there anything else before we go? Uh, we'd like people to be safe, stay safe out there. We start our avalanche advisory program uh, on a regular basis on the 12th of December, and that's uh, uh, what we can have from now. Oh. Perfect. And then so they can go to avalanche.org. Mm -hmm. Or Missoula Avalanche. .org. For all those times. Correct. And perfect. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep. Well, great. thanks for joining us. This was Steve Karkinen. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, you I have to like go say it really fast. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and if you want to do um, avalanche class, mm -hmm. learn more about avalanches, go onto that website.